Disturbing new details are now coming out about the man accused of killing four college students in Idaho. Investigators say his DNA was found on a knife case at the crime scene. Yeah, phone data also shows that he had visited that area around the victim's home several times before the murders. Fox 35's Matt Napolitano has that story tonight. Brian Koberger in an Idaho court Thursday to face first degree murder charges in the November slayings of four college students. It's Koberger's first court appearance since being extradited from Pennsylvania, where he was taken into custody last week while visiting family. Count two alleges that you committed the felony offense of murder in the first degree. According to a newly unsealed affidavit, Koberger's arrest came after investigators used DNA evidence to link him to a knife sheath left behind at the scene of the murders. Cell phone records also indicate indicate Koberger visited the area near the home at least a dozen times prior to that night. His phone, however, was not traced there that evening. Documents also reveal police have video evidence showing a white sedan believed to be driven by Koberger circling the house before the murders and then fleeing from the scene at a high speed around 4.30 a.m. One of the most alarming pieces of evidence, testimony from another roommate in the house who alleges they saw a tall man wearing all black and a mask on the night of the murders. The man apparently walked right by the roommate as they stood frozen in shock. In Moscow, Koberger's arrest is welcome news, as many say it's the first step towards closure. I hope justice will be served. Nothing will ever bring those kids back, but I hope justice will be served. Koberger will remain in custody without bail, and he's been ordered not to contact surviving victims or their families. His next court day is set for next week. Matt Napolitano, Fox News.